Hey guys! Some of you have asked me why I choose to review movies that are aimed more towards children than older audiences. The answer? I honestly think kids' movies are more difficult to make. Entertaining kids is usually pretty easy, but most adults have higher standards. Since kids will usually be watching their movies with their parents, older siblings, extended family members, teachers, babysitters, or whoever, it can be a challenge to entertain both at the same time. You don't want to lose the interest of the kids who are either bored by or can't follow the plot, but neither do you want to lose the attention of everyone else for the stereotypical mindlessness that people usually associate with the genre. With this in mind, it's also important that kids' movies teach them how to appreciate what makes a good story. When someone says, kids' movie, what sort of imagery comes to mind? You're probably thinking of simple, harmless filler, aren't you? But even kids deserve to have good stories, and they deserve to have those stories be told to them well. They need likable and believable characters with arcs and goals to aspire to. They need these characters to be faced with problems that make it impossible for them to achieve their goals, only to learn in the end that no problem is impossible to overcome. Hell, a good kid's movie can teach lessons that are more mundane, but are still just as important. It can teach them patience, or accepting responsibility, or how to cope with disappointment. A lot of kids' movies try to do this, but so many of them just drop the ball when they fail to show that there are consequences for a person's actions. It's an all-too-common occurrence where the child protagonist pretty much gets away with doing whatever he wants, and nothing bad comes out of it. How many movies have I reviewed where some kid does whatever he pleases and everything works out just because? We've seen movies that show it's okay to lie so long as you work hard to keep your story straight, the power of love is enough to bring the dead back to life, you can be a spoiled brat and still get everything that you want, and you can walk all over your parents without any kind of repercussions. And then there's the issue of so many kids' movies being made using animation. It's bad enough when a live-action movie does something wrong, but there is so much more preparation and planning that goes into an animated film that there's even less of an excuse. The entire movie is basically being made in slow motion, which only gives these filmmakers more time to make sure that they get everything absolutely right. Was there any point during the production of the animated Titanic trilogy where someone said, Hey, do you think this might be... I don't know... a little disrespectful to the people who died on the Titanic? I don't know but I do know that there were plenty of chances for someone to ask that question. This is why people have such respect for Disney, Pixar, Leica, and other such studios. They make sure that they're putting out something they can be proud of instead of just pandering to the kids, or just trying to make a quick buck. They recognize that they have a responsibility to give their juvenile audience more than just an elaborate set of jingling keys to keep them quiet for a little while. Movies can be powerful things, and once they're made, they last forever. They become part of our culture and who we are. And that holds especially true for kids' movies. These are the films that kids are cutting their teeth on. They help them develop their own tastes in movies. If we feed them nothing but crap, how will they expect anything more when they get older? Most of the movies that we've seen as kids were shared with us by our parents. I mean, when you have kids of your own someday, do you really want to share with them the likes of A Car's Life or The Karate Dog? I sincerely hope not. But movies like Toy Story... The Nightmare Before Christmas, Pinocchio? These are movies that are going to continue to be passed on for generations to come. And in that way, they become a part of your family. See you next time.